a girl who hums Paris by night to herself, who has heard the songs enough to sing them, but still doesn't know what the lyrics mean. <laughs> a girl who fiends for fuzz sometimes like I do, and knows that all a good bull needs is some love, and a whole lot of MSG this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Learning English from the TV and love from watching Chinese movies. The girl who always falls for the bad boy that she thinks has a heart of gold. <laughs> the same guy who always ends up smashing her heart into a million glittering pieces. I want to write a love poem to a woman who won't ask me, What's that smell? <laughs> when she comes home and finds out that I've been cooking with Nook Mom. <laughs> When I say un, you, am, we'll remember all the cheesy, sweet, AZ, and wallpapers, and we'll think about her hands and mine like those cute, ow, yeah, wearing the dolls on the internet. Oh. A girl who, a girl whose nights partying till the sun comes up, don't even put a dent into her 3.5 GPA. A girl who plays volleyball and soccer, and will kick my butt if I'm ever stupid enough to hurt her. A girl who loves to shop, but somehow says she hates to spend money. Yeah, right? Yeah. 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 A girl who organizes beautiful events like Bascon because she loves her people. Who tells me she can't help me with this poem about the identity of Vietnamese girls because she hasn't figured it out for herself. I want to write this poem to her. The girl whose aunties read her poem and tell her she will marry a man boy whose eyes look heavenward and whose heart bleeds ink. Who tell her she will love. Love with a passion that rivals the brilliance of all the stars in the sky. Love with the strength of a monsoon moving mountains. Love with the strength rivaled only by her ability to hate. <laughs> this poem is for her. The girl who knows what it's like to go through the first generation blues, claiming Asian pride, Vietnamese pride, even as she trip walked through a white world too bleached for yellow brown skin to ever blend in. Stepping into America when she stepped off her porch and into Vietnam as soon as she could hear hello <laughs> and smell the sweet, sweet scent of sour rain in the air. I want to write a love poem to a woman whose beauty is as heartbreaking as the history of Vietnam, as mysterious as the moonlight on Song Gulong, whose hair is a portrait of star-filled nights in a homeland that I've never seen. I, this poem is for that girl. The girl who knows that her parents act like they hate her because they love her. Because their hugs and their kisses and their words of praise have been swallowed up by legs that stand too long and by shoulders drooping from a long day standing floors. Who loves her parents? No matter how much they frustrate and fret over her, loves their haunted eyes and callous hands and their overbearing ways. This Vietnamese American woman standing with the strength of an oppressed people holding up her spine. The history etched into the lines of her eyes and their song carrying every word that passes through her lips. I want to write this poem to her so she knows I'm out there. A man boy who knows how tired she gets of days when she and the world just don't seem to fit together, when it just doesn't seem to understand. I want to show her that I will. A girl, a woman, with the last name Jung or Vo or Vo or Nguyen or Ngo or Bong or anything else that finds itself at home on my tongue. Because in the twisting talk of learning English, I'm beginning to forget the language that I was born listening to. The language in which I, I love you.